YouTubers. So here is our third design of this week. This is for also from Fortnite. This is requested by Arduino Makes. Thomas went to see the SCAR weapon. So that's what we're doing here. Sure, what's going on in the back here? Something looks a little off. We'll see what happens. So, I got this one printed here. And now I got one starting with a tornado. And of course, friends that come over here. Uh -huh. Okay, let's try this again. So, and bringing this out on the tornado. My flash is out and my camera's low. My phone's low. Alright, well, I'll just take it up in the morning once it's done printing out. It's late. I'm gonna go to bed. It's so close, I know, but I'm just so tired. Look how close that was. Good thing, because I would have slept right through it. That was pretty cool, though. Okay, I can never do this while I hold the phone. So you get a little excited and you try to just pull stuff off because they're coming off really good. You do stupid stuff like this. See that? Right there at the handle. So I gotta take this outside and clean off properly with pliers. I just started pulling it off. I had to stop. It's just so cool though. Messed up on the tip there. But still, that's so cool. This is going to be one of the cool ones when we do it full size. Alright, let's see what the Prusa looks like. set if you can see that right here it ended and set right there on the scope so that's not going to turn out real nice on this one but other than that that looks pretty cool Cool. Take it outside and clean up with the other. Alright, so a couple issues here. Uh, the little one, the Prusa, had problems. Uh, let's see. Right back here. Cut the bottom 
the stock there, and it did not get the scope there. I think that was turned out pretty good on the little one. Base coated black right now. And this one, I had some issues cleaning it up. This picked it all up, but I had to reinforce the trigger there. Had some issues with that. The scope here. Decided to bust it off. It's still a little tacky. I had to glue it so many times. It's such a pain in the ass. Even trying to use the bacon soda and super glue method. Just such a tiny area and it kept shifting and it's hard to hold and glue and so hopefully that'll be alright in the end. Looks really cool though. Put it down there. Pretty cool seeing that's what the stock's supposed to look like there. Fully. And the handle which you seen earlier, I started to break a little bit, just cracked it, so I glued that too. So this one is all glued up and uh, I may just let it sit for a few hours before I even try to start sanding on it. So this thing's pretty cool though. I gotta say I'm looking forward to doing a full size one of these. That is awesome. So we're getting there slowly but surely. Just don't call me Shirley. Yeah, I did catch another issue. This is working on this. And it's right here. It's so thin because we designed it. <laughs> we made it hollow back to like there. So we gotta remember just to keep the tips hollow if we're gonna do that. Not the whole thing because we kept this little one. It's definitely an issue. But this is the first coat of the smaller one, gold there. Now, several issues, but still, I'm gonna put it over with your other gold ones. It was the first. It is still cool. And then I got the larger one over here, just base coating up. That's so cool. Oh, get down that barrel. I can't wait to see this in a full size. We got to start, if we're going to start doing these prop sizes and stuff like that, we got to start thinking about either designing something to put in the tips that can be painted orange. Because I hate to paint the tips of the actual props orange. I mean, if we can just design something to go on the tip that's orange and that would cover it. So I think there's so many rules and regulations about having the orange tips go to any cons or anything like that, and, you know, walking around all dressed out. I just, I don't know. I do know that when my son plays with some of the stuff we've done outside, I do make them, we paint the tips orange, uh, because some of the stuff is pretty realistic looking, even though, you know, I don't know how anybody can mistake it, but still, paint the tips orange. He goes outside to play because I just don't want to have to deal with that. It's sad it's like that, but it is what it is. Better safe than sorry. So remember that if you're going to have these props and you're going to be playing with them, have them out in public, remember to have the tips painted orange or have an orange cap tip over it, something, so that they know it is not a real weapon. Stay safe. Have fun. Just be safe. Anyhow, I'm sorry about the lecture. Wasn't trying to. I just want everyone to be safe. I mean, we're putting these STLs up online. And people will be downloading. And I'm sure people will be taking them to cons and having fun with them. Just be safe. Make sure you paint the tips orange or put an orange cap on it. All right, I'm here working on painting this up now as I'm listening to Chris Riley's live stream. And he's got a little mini Delta. He's uh, not wasn't much of a build, but he's done. He's putting out a Benji right now. Chris always has good live streams. So just finishing up on this. 
you know, even with all the issues that we had, let's still get this side up, it's not, but even with all the issues that we had, I still think this little one came out really nice. I was thinking about printing one and sending it up to uh, Xander and Glenn at Fun Kings. If I do, it's going to have all the supports on it because everybody knows Xander loves support. So if anybody sends anything to him, make sure you just leave the supports on it because he really loves to clean these up and finish them himself. <laughs> all right, and just under the wire. I know it's not the best paint job, but the time we had, try and knock this out. It's too bad. So this is the scar from the video game Fortnite. This was requested by Thomas at Arduino Makes. Everyone should go check out Arduino Makes on YouTube. There's the big one there. And here's the little gold one. Even with its issues, I think it still looks pretty good. So, what do you guys think? Remember, if you got any suggestions, something you want to see, these still got, oh man, like 129 of these. So just leave a comment in the video. And any comment you post, we always respond to them all. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching. And make sure you ring that bell. We've got a lot of content coming out this year. Have a wonderful night. God bless.